Good morning boys and girls, happy Friday and welcome to our last phonics lesson for this week. I hope you've had a wonderful week, you've been working so hard at home, so well done. Today we're learning a new letter and we're thinking about getting ready for learning lots of new digraphs. So today we're going to finish the alphabet and then it's digraph central. We're on a digraph mission mums and dads um, and it's been very, very exciting, it's my favourite phase. Right. Let's warm up by having a go at our flashcards. So you might want to stop the video and do this in your own time, or you can do it with me. I feel like some desert today. And I think the red matches very nicely. And because it's very hot in the desert, I'm going to use the fire. Are you ready? Nice and loud, boys and girls. Let me hear these sounds. Oh, it was backwards then, I got confused. Yeah, that was our new one. Mmm. No, duh. Oh, it's backwards in my screen. Duh, 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 duh for drum. Sorry, boys and girls. Eh. S. S. Oh. T. Done. That was very quick. It took us one minute and 30 seconds. Well done, boys and girls. Right, we're going to play a game now. We're going to get moving before we carry on. We're going to practice our blending for reading because we're going to do lots of reading today. I've got a secret for you. We're not going to do any writing in today's phonics. I know, we're not going to do any writing. We're going to practice our reading. We're going to think about blending for reading today. So that make my, might make some of you quite excited. Okay, the game is I've got a bowl full of pictures here and they're objects that you either can find around your house or you point to where they might live if you don't have any in your house. So, I'm going to tell you the sounds in my word and you can either point to this thing or you might have to get up off your bottom and go and find one, okay? Are you ready? My first thing I want you to find is like a treasure hunt. Can you point to or find me a zip? Zip. Moms and dads might want to stop the video here if it takes a while to find. Okay, you should have found a zip. Well done, boys and girls. Zip. Zip. Brilliant. Okay. Are you ready for the next one? So you might need to pause it in between each one if you have to get up and go and find it if you're in a different room. Can you find me or point to a pan? Pan. That's right. A pan. Well done. Pan. Pan. Super. Now this one, you might have one of these in your house. Or you might point to where you could find one if you did have one. Okay. Fish. Fish. That's right, I said fish. So you might have a real fish in a pond or in a bowl, or you might have fish in your fridge. Or you might just point to the fridge because that's where you would keep fish if you wanted to eat them. Or in the freezer even. Okay, next one ready? You should have all have you all should have one of these in your house. B ed. B ed. That's right, your bed. B 
Ed bed. Super. You shouldn't have to go far for one of these. L egg. L egg. That's right, your leg. L egg. Leg. Just point to your leg. Easy peasy. Now the next one is a colour. Are you ready? You're looking for this colour. So it could be anything that this this, this colour. Red. Red. Yeah, the colour red. So you could have found that anywhere in your house. In school, it's easy peasy because our jumpers are red normally. Red. Okay. Next one. Eat. Eat. Yeah, you didn't have to go far for those. Your feet. Ugh, smelly feet. Last one. You ready? Whoa. Nearly showed you there. K up. K up. Yeah, that's right. A cup. Could be any kind of cup. Okay. Super blending, boys and girls. That's our blending for reading. So today we're going to be doing a whole new sound. So we need our jolly phonics. Are we ready? Did you ever hear a bee bus? A bee bus? A bee bus? Did you ever hear a bee bus? Like this. Okay, boys and girls, stand up where you are and get your hands. Now, bees have very small wings, so we're going to flap our wings like this and I want you to run around the room being a bee and they're making this sound. Zzz. Makes your tongue tickle. Zzz. So can you be a bee and move around the room? Zzz. Well done, boys and girls. We've got some great bees in reception this year. You were fantastic then. Okay, mums and dads, it's time to watch Geraldine, boys and girls. I wonder what she'll find in her house, beginning with zzz, or might have to have zzz at the end. Well done, okay, I hope you enjoyed that. So, things that begin with zzz. Now, Geraldine had some difficulty with some of the things beginning with zzz in her house. But actually, we're going to play a bit of a game now with things that begin with zzz. So, here are the things in my pictures today. We've got zoo, zigzag, umbrella, zip, car, doll, zero and zebra. So, mums and dads, can you pause the video now and have a chat? amongst yourselves or whoever's at home today, what in my pictures begins with zzz, and I'll put this on the website if you want a better look. Fantastic, well done. Right, let's go through them. You're gonna show me a thumbs up if it begins with zzz, and a thumbs down if it doesn't begin with zzz. So let's start with zoo. Thumbs up or thumbs down, does zoo begin with zzz? Yes, well done. It does zzz for zoo. Does zigzag begin with zzz? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yes, it does. Well done. Okay. Does umbrella begin with zzz? Yeah, you're right. It doesn't begin with zzz. How about zip? Well done. What about car? Car doesn't begin with zzz. Car begins with... You're right. How about doll? Yeah, what does doll begin with? Well done. How about zero? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah, you're right. Zero does begin with zzz. And how about zebra? Yeah, you're right. Zebra does begin with zzz. Well done, boys and girls. All those things begin with zzz. Now, I said today we wouldn't be doing much writing, but you can challenge yourself. We're going to play ob and bob. 
If you want to challenge yourself and you want to have a go at some writing, um, you can, every time there's a real word, write it down. But Miss Selwyn is going to be doing the zzz um, formation in her kinetic letters next week. Um, so there's double the reason why we're not doing any writing today. We want to get really a good understanding of our digraphs and get some good reading practice in, but also our zzz is going to happen next week with Miss Selwyn. So you could stop the video here, mums and dads, and play this on your computer separately if you can't see the sounds very well, or you can read it with me. Ready, boys and girls? All together, z, egg, zeg. Real or silly? Yeah, silly. Ooh, it's not working today. Oh, sometimes if we start it again, it works the second time. Okay, we'll read a new word and we'll see if it works this time. Otherwise, I might have to run and do it on the computer. Okay, are you ready? B. Super, all together. B. Oz. Buzz. Real or silly? Real. Can you put buzz into a sentence, please? The bees went buzz. Oh, we're going to have to run technology. Oh, oh, who was that? Okay, next one. Oh, we know this new sound. J. All together. J. As. Jazz, well done. Is jazz real or silly? Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's still not working. Um, it is, yeah, it's real. Jazz is a type of music. I like to listen to jazz music. Okay, ooh, what do we do with big words like this? Yeah, you're right, we chop them in half. We chop them in half. So, let's read the first few. Well done. Z, ig, zig, z, ag. And the whole word is zig, zag. Zigzag, super. Is zigzag real or silly? Tell your mum and dad which one it is. Yeah, you're right, it's a real word. I can draw a zigzag on my paper. Okay, next one, ready? All together. Z, ik, zik, well done. What's a zik? I've never heard of a zik. Silly. Yo, what legs today? Okay, next one. All together. L as. Laz. Well done. Real or silly? I've never heard of a laz. I can't put it into a sentence. Silly. Yo. Okay, next one. Ready? All together. Ruz, ruz, real or silly? Silly. Yo. Okay, next one. Did you get the right one at the end? Z, eb, zeb. Is zeb real or silly? Yeah, silly. Well done. Yo. Next one. All together. Z, F, Zeth. What's a Zeth? Lots of silly words here. Yeah, silly, silly. Yo. Okay, next one. You might have read that while I was getting up, moving it on the computer. All together. Z, Egg. 
zag. Silly. Well done. So good at your weird and silly words. Yo. This is the very last one. One more time. Z -og. Zog. Now, we know the book Zog. We love the book Zog. But actually, I think it's going to be a silly word. Yeah, we were right. Sometimes they count names as silly words. Okay, super. We got 10 out of 10. Well done, boys and girls. And you might want to play that on your own on Phonics Play using the login with the link on the website. Now, we have on Phonics Play some sentences here. Three different sentences. Now, I have moved sentences. You might want to come on here and have a go at reading those. But actually, what I've done is I've moved some of them onto here. So this is a task we do quite a lot at school. And just to make it more fun, I'm going to use different colours. So you might want to have some different coloured pens if you can. So what we're going to do is put sound buttons into our sentences. Now, this is so important. And the reason we're doing it today is because we're looking for digraphs. And next week, Miss Selma is going to start introducing some of the phase three digraphs. And now, from now until the end of phase three, it's just digraphs and trigraphs. So having the understanding of what a digraph is, being able to spot it in your reading, is going to be massive. <laughs> it's really, really important. And we do this quite a lot in school, which is why I want you to do it at home as well. So you have a sentence and you put in your sound buttons. Can a can a b a Now I've come to a digraph. What do I do, boys and girls? Yeah, I put a line in. Can you see that very well? Hope you can. And can a can a b l bell b o z buzz. Can a bell buzz? Can a bell buzz? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Yeah, kind of, sometimes. I guess the fire alarm buzzes in a way, but it rings bells, don't they? So, a bit of both. Can a bell buzz? So putting those lines in, it's a really quick assessment tool as well to see if the children know their digraphs. Okay, next one. Sound button's ready. Um, can, a, can, a, d, o, k, duck, can a duck, hop, hop, can a duck, hop, can a duck, hop, they more waddle, don't they? Maybe no, no, I'm going to say no. Okay, next one, this is where our different colours can come in. Um, can, can van, that's not right, <laughs> oh dear, it's Friday, can a van, van, can a van, I've got a tricky word now, can you tell me what tricky word I've got, go, well done. So I'm going to circle that in a different colour. That's really important for spotting tricky words in their reading because then they can read more fluently. Can a van go up, up? Can a van go up a hill? hill. Can a van go up a hill? Super. So then now I've shown you what to do. On the school website, I've put loads of sentences. Now, you could choose to print and just put your sound buttons in, which is what we do at school. There's loads and loads and loads. Um, or you can, mums and dads, you could write the sentences out for the children and they could put the sound buttons in. Really, really important, ready for next week and their digraphs. So whether you're printing and putting the sound buttons in or whether you're um, going to write them and have the children put the sound buttons in, have some time now putting sound buttons in your sentences and lots of good reading, blending and looking for tricky words. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that activity. 
Now, last thing I want to show you, if I can, this is in my way, it's definitely Friday. This is what Bug Club looks like to me, I'm giving you a sneaky peek here. Um, and what we do is we sort the books that we set for children based on phonic sounds. So on Monday, I set the whole of set six, which is j, z, w, and x, which are the sounds we've learned this week. So the children, well, some of the sounds we've learned this week. So all these books here that we've set for the children, the whole classes have the same set, all have those sounds in. So another really good way to practice if the children are recognising their digraphs and spotting their tricky words is by just going through those reading books because they all match the phonics. So it's sort of an extra, it all links in. So it's practising the same things. Just wanted to show you that. So um, please do keep reading. Please keep do using Bug Club. However, on Phonics Play, those sentences also have our um, sounds in we've been doing this week. So if you're um, struggling with Bug Club or you're not getting hold of anything or things aren't, you know, these are all so brilliant. And then you've got these to keep practicing reading. So it's great learning the sounds, but application through reading, application through writing is really essential to make sure that they, they know that they're learning it and um, keeping on going. Well done, boys and girls. You've had an amazing week, week and a half that you've had with me now. You've had a brilliant time. You've been amazing at your phonics. And I can't wait to see all the good work you do next week with Miss Selwyn.